Hello everyone. I'm Debbie Polachek. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today is March the 17th, 2020, and it's a sad day all across the world. It's now it's even hit the U.S., the coronavirus. I hope this is something that we can talk about real soon that's going to be over with. Um, some people say that the, the warmer temperatures will help, and I'm sure praying that that will so let's have it that in our prayers that we can all hope for the whole world to have warmer weather so this virus will go at bay. Anyway, today we're going to be uh, making a new storage item. Um, this is the little storage items we're going to make. It has little feet on there and an and a oversized handle. Not because I wanted it to be, but it's because what I had. Sometimes you, when we craft, we just got to do, with, especially when things something on the top of our head, we got to do something at that time, and we've got to use what we have. So that's what I'm doing today. And I did use some of the Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper. It does uh, hold um, uh, six little jars of our re-inkers and our... The glue dots, the roll of glue dots, I think it could hold at least two of those. And I do have my little uh, glue eraser in here too, because I do have glue. And when you take the top off, there's two slots here for, for the glue. And when you take the top off, you can put the glue in the big one. Or you can, it probably holds better in the bigger one, but uh, as you can see, it does work in the little one as well. So. Um, but if yours gets off just a little bit, you probably can stick something else in there like your bone folder or something like that. So, and it does hold, I believe, uh, how many of these daubers? 18 of the finger daubers. Actually, I think I have 19 in here. I've got them kind of staggered out. But anyway, all of it is made by hand, except, of course, the hardware. As you know, there's no better way of getting our minds off the world. It's wonderful therapy. is crafting. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off with our our pieces. First of all, I got a a piece of cardstock here. I made mine in black and it me started off measuring eight and a half, no, ten and a half by eight and a half. And then I took it on the scoreboard and scored it at one and a half and three, one and a half, three, all the way around. Then I cut out, there was three squares here. I cut out these three squares on all the ends. This one, on the long side, I mean on the short side, I cut up on both sides and beveled the edges. These are the tabs. Same thing on this side. On the short side, I cut up both to the score line and beveled both of these edges. I beveled these edges and these edges. This is going to be our drawer. And also for the drawer, I cut a poster board. And I have four pieces of poster board here. One is for the bottom, and it measures four and seven sixteenths by two and seven sixteenths. Seven sixteenths is the little notch right before you get to two and a half. So this is 8 sixteenths, it's 2 and a half, it's 8 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths is the one right before it. Okay, we got two pieces that are going on this side and this side, and they measure 2 and 7 sixteenths by 1 and 7 sixteenths. These measure 1 and 7 sixteenths by 4 and 7 sixteenths. Okay. 
these are the chipboard that I cut to make the box itself to make the to make the frame and this is for the bottom that would hold the drawer there's two pieces one goes up top and one goes on bottom these are the same size these are four and five eighths by two and five eighths these are the sides of the drawers and they measure two and five eighths by one and five eighths this is the back of the drawer and this is four and five eighths by one and five eighths okay this is for the shelf that uh, the little shelf that holds the glue and stuff on top and we have two pieces that are four and five eighths by one and a quarter and then we have two pieces that are two and five eighths by one and a quarter now in order to hold the glue I'm gonna need to make some more of these and I will get back with those measurements soon this will be continued now I'm going to show you how to glue the drawer together we're going to glue all these pieces this piece on the bottom and I'm going to center it right inside of my score lines here now I'm going to do the same thing to each one of these sides leaving a small gap all the way around now I'm going to fold our end pieces down here we'll glue on each one of these make sure that I have my corners all squared up perfectly if they're not squared up perfectly and they get slouchy your drawer will not fit into inside your little frame so we want this to fit as perfect as we can go ahead and use a clothespin to get this to stick down get my bone folder and go ahead and press that down real good inside Make sure my corners are still together and they are Okay, now we're going to do the frame for the drawer. And what I've done so far is I just took a full piece of cardstock, because I'm going to trim it after I do it, and I put stays on ink on one side of this large piece. Two of the shorter pieces, I put it on two sides, right here and here. I might as well tell you this this is yeah this is one of the tops and the bottoms that are four and five eighths by two and five eighths there's one here and there's one here I'm gonna be doing later so this is the bottom part like I said, I inked all those edges, those 
these two edges, this edge, and this two edges. These two pieces here, and just use it for a guide. First of all, I'm going to glue the this one here, and I'm going to glue it real good. We don't want this to come up. And this will be having some wear on it, so you do want to take your time and glue that pretty well. I'm going to glue it all the way to the edge, both edges here. I'm not going to let it overlap at all. With my finger, I can feel it's pretty flush. I don't want any of that glue because this glue kind of stays sticky and I don't want it on the inside of this because this is not going to be covered on the inside of this at all. And here again I'm going to glue all the way to the edge very well. This time I'm going to take my two spacers and I'll put the two spacers here. I'm going to put this right next to it and right on that edge again. All across that edge. Two spacers apart. Two thicknesses of this same chipboard. When this dries, if there's any glue at all, on here I'm going to take this glue remover by Stampin' Up and I'll put leave a link to that as well that will remove every bit of that glue that's left on there so if there's anything at all on there I will take that off with that and I can see two spaces already that I have there so here we go again this edge is here and in here and I want to leave it on the outside glue it very well two spaces away. With this one I can kind of tell where it needs to be, but I'll double check it just to make sure. Okay, I'm going to catch up what I did. I did make a some adjustments here. What I've done is I went ahead and cut this along the line with my scissors. Then I just eyeballed this one and cut this one along the line with my scissors. Okay, so then I took my bone folder and used it on all these places here. Then I took these two pieces and pinched them together, got them so they matched up in the corner real nice, took them here, and pressed that real good on each side with my bone folder. Okay. Now I also cut some construction strips, which Cut strips of cardstock one inch wide and score down the middle. And I'm going to glue those right here, some short ones here. And see how they're beveled on the edge? I'm going to glue those in those spots there. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. See how this lines up with this.
And if you got anything sticky on this, be sure and get that off with your glue eraser. Because you don't want anything sticky on the inside of this. Okay. Now I'm going to take this half and glue it here. This half and glue it behind here. Do the same thing on this other side. And glue it behind here. So in other words, when this closes, I want all of this to stick to the back of the little shelf. And I also want this corner to match up perfectly. trying to get it as flat as possible as well. Okay. Now that's done. I'll set this aside. Oh, you might want to go ahead and stick your drawer in there and make sure that it fits in there okay. Let's see, mine does. Okay. So we'll set this aside. Now we're going to work on the top part. And these are those pieces. I told you in the in the first of the video. Let's see. I would see it again, but I might get them messed up with the thing, so I'm going to just leave it as it was. I'm going to let you see it the first of the video. And this time, I believe I did this right, but I'm not real sure, but we'll find out when we get it together. I inked this, the all three of these sides of these long ones. All three of the sides. And on these short sides, I just did the tops. Okay, so what my aim now is to do is put these on the edge. Again, glue this all the way to the edge. And these other two pieces. Again, with that black edge on the outside. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut all this out right next to the edge. Okay. Now I'm going to take another piece of cardstock. Do my scoring here though. Just because this is going to be the, the inside of the box, the inside of the top. Like so. And this piece will hold it all together. And down, and then I'll cut the rest out. Again, make a real good contact, especially around the edges. Now this time when I cut it, I'm going to cut in the corners these little tabs in here because these are going to be my tabs to put it together. Again, cutting it as close as I can to that chipboard. Now on the short sides, we're going to cut this up to the, each corner. I'll bevel these a little bit. Get 
piece up. Lure tabs, tip of your marker. That bullet edge would be probably better to use that. Yeah, that works real nice. Okay, here we go back with the Yeah, I'm going to do these on the inside. Okay, next, I'll tell you what I've got here. I've got a piece of chipboard that I cut. These are extra pieces that I cut because I'm going to make a little area in here that will hold two glues. That's what I'm hoping. And one upside down for when I'm using it, it'll be ready to go. Okay, this is the chipboard I got. It's two and a half by one and a quarter. Two of those, one and a quarter by one and a half, two and a half by one and a quarter. Okay, and I've got some cardstock here cut. This is three and a half by three. And then on the short side, I scored it at one and a quarter and two and a half. On the long side, I scored it at one half and at three. Okay. Now for these little short pieces, I have these two cut. And these are two and a half by two and a half. On one side, I scored it right down the middle at one and a quarter. And on the other sides, I scored it at one half and two. Okay, now this is my plan. I plan to cut the score line off of one side of this. Then I plan to cut this right here into a tab and this right here into a tab. This right here into a tab and this right here into a tab. Now I'm going to glue one of these pieces right here. And one on this one here. So in other words, I'm just enclosing this little piece of chipboard inside of here. Take my bone folder, kind of square all that off. Lay those back. And I got one done. I'm going to do the other one the same way. Okay. Now this one. What I think I'll do is fold this long side down and just pinch this right here and this one right here cut this little piece right here and this little one right here cut this at an angle here and here these right here. Okay. Now I'll take my little tube of glue. 
fit in there. And I'm going to glue that tab down. I think that fits in there pretty good. Okay, this one I'm going to do the very same way. Glue it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and see if this kind of fits this way. Looks like it does. Now I'm going to take all these little see which ones I'm going to do. I'm glue this one here first and then take my clothespins off. Yeah, it looks like it's going to work. Awesome. Okay, I think I've got them all glued. Pretty good. I think I'll see. I don't know. I'll just go ahead and leave it on there. I might have to take it off. Take it out. Spins a little over a little bit. Now I want this to the front, this little hole to the front, so I can put my ink, I mean my glue in there upside down. Now I'm going to try to glue this all together. Oops. Hold it on there as square as I can. to get my bone folder in there to get those tabs pressed down. Keep checking it to make sure it seems to be flush. It does. and put this in here. We'll put, I forgot about getting knobs for this, but I'm, I'm going to leave a link to these feet here. That would be real cute on the bottom of here. See, we need some feet that are flat because we don't have any room to put anything extra there. So we'll go ahead and put those uh, feet here. This fabric tack might be better choice for this right here. And you should give this a good 30 minutes of drying like this before you flip it over. And we probably will. I'm going to do that. And while that's drying, I will come back and try to figure out something for the knobs in front. Okay, here we go. So I've glued the feet on, and they're not completely dry, but they're pretty good and dry. Hopefully they'll stay together until I get this finished. Quit messing around with it. But anyway, what I decided to do, since this thing was gapping in between here, it just needed something on the outside edge to hold it as well. So I went ahead and cut a uh, one and a quarter, two one quarter inch strips that were 11 inches long, the length of, of a cardstock and went ahead and wrapped one shorter one around this way and this way of the back of it first and then took the complete one stuck it here and just trimmed the edges off at the corner and I think that should hold it real well okay and as far as hardware <laughs> this is huge but I think it'll turn out real cute and I'll leave a link to these at my description too. It's an Amazon order if you'd like to order those. The feet and the drawer pull. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cover my box, put some designer serif paper on it. This is a one and a half inch wide, so I'm going to cut it one and a quarter inch on my designer series paper. And then I'm going to just take this and just eyeball it here. Take it and kind of center it where I want it and just put a little mark right here and cut that off. Oh, and so I went ahead and uh, took my uh, pokey tool and went ahead and put those hose. I lined this up right on the very top, about a quarter of an inch away from each ed edge and mark those hose and put them in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue this on there. That should do it for that. I'm going to do these sides next because these should be about the same size. Again, I'm going to give it about the same amount of border all the way around. So I'm going to cut two of them this length. I'll be glad when I get this made so I can have my glue upside down and it'll be, I won't have to shake it every time I need it. This piece is one and a quarter, so I know I need that one inch. So I'll go ahead and cut a one inch piece of that. Well, that chipboard sure does mess up your blade. But I have to say, I did cut quite a bit of chipboard out of this, this blade here that I've had quite a while since I got this. And I was able to order it earlier than... If you weren't a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, order it. So it's been going on pretty good. And I've used it to cut chipboard before. Poke those hose where they were before. Now these brads might be a little bit long. I ran out of my Stampin' Up brads. I think they would be just fine. These are a little bit longer. Shorten them up. That's real adorable. Some room for our glue. Another one here. And then we can take it out and stick it there to use it. So, and I, like I said, these will hold our little daubers here. As you know. As you know, these will hold our little daubers. We'll go ahead and set those inside. Our inks would fit in here real nice. Look like we six of them in there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.